Gaya's asks like how to observe the energy of energy spaces. So if you, the first thing is, uh, if you want to observe the energy spaces, uh, there's no shortcut. Uh, some people are very receptive to the energies uh, by various reasons. I'll not go into too much detail, but if you want to re be receptive to the energies, uh, you have to work on the sadhana. Uh, I would recommend that like uh, just uh, doing the kriyas is not good enough. Uh, you have to go and start working with your volunteering. Just like if you are initiated into Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya, you will have the opportunity to work with the Isha volunteers also at different projects. That is going to break all of your limitations. So eventually, like if you want to experience certain kind of energies, then you have to also be, uh, you know, evolve spiritually a little bit, which basically means you have to tone down uh, your psychological aspects and everything, which you cannot do just by yourself, because if you want to use your mind to do that, it's impossible. So that is the reason Sadhguru has given different tools. So you can make use of the Bhakti Sadhana, uh, you can make use of the Karma Yoga, volunteering at the ashram or any of the uh, event that uh, Sadhguru offers. Uh, now, uh, very soon, uh, Sadhguru is consecrating the Mahasula and Nandi uh, in uh, 15th of January, so you can also make use of that if you are in or around Bangalore. So you have to you have to uh, do the sadhana and like uh, well, the energy spaces are not usually only to absorb the energies, but it can also break open your shell because most of the people visit temple regularly, but uh, most of the people have not come into that experience. So the very powerful energies can actually accelerate your receptivity also.